Baby, it's fine, it's fine. You see, your condition is getting worse by the day, and you refuse to seek medical help. I don't want to lose you, Val. Baby, I am not dying. Now. God. I know what is wrong with me. This is not a medical case. This thing was sent to me from the village. It is only a strong native doctor that will prepare a strong medicine for me to drink. Val, will it be effective? Yes. Uh, then you should call him immediately, please. I don't like... Sorry, sorry. Oh my God. Val. Oh my God, sorry, sorry. Baby, oh my God. I will do that, don't worry. I will do anything for you. I will do that. Ori ga ni ge jo kanyo kanyo atupati atan atupati atan bekara ketan 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 bekara ketan 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 easy Ori ga ni ge jo eni eni agbatam ka fife egboto ma pe egboto ma tama mo nse ri asia nana me tidi nana Oni enu kasoni anu ante. Oni ego kasoni ebe. This is really serious. For how long have you been experiencing these symptoms? Uh, for a couple of months now. But I know that this one is not ordinary. They sent this thing from the village. You mean they sent this illness from the village? I'm too sure because they started attacking my business. My business started dwindling. All of a sudden, everything went down the drain. So you mean someone, somewhere is manipulating all this evil? Yes. After I refused going to the village, when they asked me to come to the village, I said no. They started attacking my business and started inflicting me with all kinds of dangerous and wicked illnesses. Look at this one. Hmm. So, who are these people? They are from my maternal home. They said that I'm the next to take over the deity. So when they told me, I refused vehemently that I wasn't going to serve any shrine. So they started attacking me. They attacked my finances. When I got broke, they started inflicting me with dangerous ailment. This now cannot work. They want to cripple me. Hmm. I see. Hmm. You don't have to worry. I have prepared a concussion, a herbal concussion that will repel all evil sort of illness, causes, and evil spirits attacking you. Thank you. Thank you. Make sure you take it morning and night, one shot in the morning and one shot in the night. Take it for seven days. It will cleanse all illness, disease, planted by any man or sent by any man or woman. Whatsoever that have been troubling you, this will cure it. Thank you, Baba. Mm. Mm. Yes. Mm. 
Hmm. I feel a lot better and strong now since I started taking these herbs. Hmm. The paint, paints have reduced. Hmm. Hmm. Yes. Yes, I've always known that this sickness was not ordinary. Hmm. Yeah. I hear songs of sorrows. I see darkness roving around you. Power of death and life is in your tongue. To disengage your unborn children from their ancestral causes. Forty nights before our hosts seven times. To stand out in between Genobia. And Agbalugo, the strange goddess. Baby, how do you feel now? Baby? Baby! Ah, baby, when did you walk in? I didn't notice it. Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. Come here now. The pains have subsided. I told you. Oh my god, I'm so glad you're fine. It worked. I told you. The medicine that the herbalist gave me is working very strong. I'm glad you're fine now. I told oh. you that this thing hey. is not normal. Oh my God. It was sent from the village, but you didn't believe me. I'm sorry. Now, I'm so happy. you have seen the result. You not believe me, Abby? I'm happy. So, anytime I tell you something, you <laughs> Stop. Thank God. Hey, thank... Are you... Where are you taking him to? Ah, Ishe, we're going to the hospital. This is not an hospital matter. He knows what is wrong with him. Listen, my friend. Come, I thought I told you severally. There's nothing you and those village people will do for me to serve your gods. It's impossible. I have told you there will be consequences. Listen, let me tell you. Hey. Eh? You hey. cannot scare me. You don't have what it takes to scare me. Rubbish. Take him inside before it is too late. Baby, please don't mind him. Let's just go to the hospital. Mr. Val, we've done investigations concerning your leg complaints the swelling, but we haven't gotten anything out of it. So, aside that, the back pain, the waist pain, the hip, any other complaints you think we should know about? Um, so I have difficulties in the urinating at night. Okay. When I go to urinate, I find it so difficult to pass a urine. It, it takes time mm -hmm. and it's a bit painful. Mm. Really? Okay, so we'll have to do a PSA test. Yes, it is. What's yeah. the meaning of that? It's nothing to worry about. PSA is just basic post specific antigen. Yep. Don't panic. It's nothing to worry about, like I told you. If it's high, then we'll have to go further and do a prostate biopsy. Prostate? Does it mean my uh, uh, this will be working perfectly again? Oh no, it will. 
It will. It's not an issue yet. We need to find out what the problem is. That's why I'm telling you to do this several tests. Okay? Just calm down. You'll be fine. Uh. Okay. Here's a test sheet. You'll go to the lab scientists. They'll pick it up from there. They know what to do. Uh -huh. Here's some drug prescriptions. The pharmacist will give you some drugs. Make sure you take as prescribed. It will help relieve the pain. Um, you won't have much problem doing anything, it'll be fine. <sighs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. Just take it easy, man. Take care of your husband, okay? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look, he's here. You finally agreed to come to the hospital. A lot of conviction before he decided to come trust me. Mm -hmm. Last time you called me, you sounded so worried. <laughs> no. Uh, well, um, the doctor said I should give you this. Uh, oh, yes, sorry. Oh. Okay, PSA test. If you don't take time, I'll just take a blood. Okay. Um, please, how long will it take for the result to be out? About 24 hours. <laughs> Doctor, another test? Yes, it's very important with you, so you really need to know what's happening. So, uh, how much would this test cost? It wouldn't cost you much. We're looking at 70,000 or thereabouts. 70,000? Yeah. Um, doctor, Where would I get that kind of money from? Take it easy. Doctor, Take it easy. it's fine. I will do it as soon as possible. Okay, that's Thank fine. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I told you, my own case is different. Ben, you pushed me to go into the hospital. I told you. Have you seen that it's a gimmick from the village people to keep inflicting me with all kinds of sickness from here to here? Do you know their game plan? For me to finally sell this house and come back to the village. Baby, please, can you just stop saying that? I don't think there's any deity chasing you. You are just sick. It can happen to anybody. I disagree. My own case is different. Now, they have asked us to go and get 70,000 naira. Where do I get that kind of money from? Will I go and steal it? Look at me. Look at me. I am stronger now. I no longer feel the pains. Now I can urinate comfortably and easily without any qualms. Look at it now. Babe, let me tell you. After taking that herb, that root from shadow medical doctors, look at me now. Baby, please, you have to do the test for us to know what is actually wrong with you and get a permanent cure. Please. Fine, I'll just rally around and get the money for the test. Please. Babe, I don't know why you don't want to understand me. Now, if you go to look for the money and you do not succeed, what will happen? Baby, trust me, okay? I'll get the money. Hmm? Please. Ah, babe. Huh? Just be patient. <laughs> Alright? It's gonna be fine. Baby, I'm fine now. You're I'm not. fine. You're not. Thank you. Why are you all so excited? I'm so happy. Guess what? 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 Yes, no. Okay, just stay. Let me get some. Take this. Open it. Open it. Open it off. This is not from jam. Office. Yes, it's from jam. This is your result. Mm, my jam result. I passed my jam. I can see that. And you're going into medical. Yes, very soon. You're into medical oh, field. The same goodness. with me. Like mother, like daughter. 
Oh, no, 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 sit down. Of course, I'm sitting down. I have to digest this news. So you're supposed to take me out. I will, but I'm kind of tired. Mm. Let me just relax a little. I'll do that later. Should I get water for you? Yeah, give me okay. water. Okay, I'm coming. <sighs> Send you my address in the morning. Bye. Who is that? Ah, baby. My very good friend. My old time friend. We used to be very close until he left for the States. But he said he's back. And do you want to give him our house address? Baby, come on. He's my very good friend and he's a nice person, trust me. Well, if you say so. But I hope he's not your ex. Come on, no. We never dated. He's just my friend. <sighs> you worry too much. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. I missed you. Really? And you never bothered to contact me? It's work. You know how it is. Day in, day out. Well, please come in. Come in, please. Yeah, you are very lovely, please. Thank you. Um, well. Reminds me of a little place in London. Oh, really? Um, hey, baby. <laughs> baby, um, sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Hello? Um, Hi. Ben, meet my husband, and um, baby, nice Ben, my you. very good friend. Hello, how are you? Thank um, you. Welcome to our small place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Baby, go and look for cola for our visitor. Now. Oh my god, yeah? my bad. Sorry, we're trying to catch up with all times. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, so what can I offer you? No, no. I, I just have a few errands to run. And as soon as I'm done, I'm coming back. Wow, so fast? You know how it is. I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's the first one. No, it's not. It's not. I'll ben. be back. I promise. Okay. I promise. I know here now. I'll be right <laughs> Okay. It was awesome with you. All right, my brother. All right? Yeah. Okay, have a good one. And um, sorry about your leg. Get better. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Oh, baby, let me just see him off. I'm coming. All right, sweetheart. No problem. Right. Okay. okay, yes. I'm coming, baby. All right, okay. Hi there. You know you um you betrayed me. The agreement was you were going to wait for me when I get back from America. We'll get married. As soon as I left, you ran into another man's hands. 
Ben, but you know we never had anything serious. We never had a relationship. We just had crush on each other. Babe, you build from crushes. You have to build from something. Anyway, hey, don't get me wrong. I'm happy for you. I mean, I know your, your husband is doing well, yeah? Nice house. Ben, please don't let this big house see you. Mm. My husband built the house when things were still fine for him. I and mean, now his business is down. Wow. And he's sick. We're actually looking for money so that I can go for the test that the doctor recommended. I didn't know things were that bad. Ben, please, I need your help. Please, I beg you. Hey, baby. Say no more. Come on. You're your way past that. I didn't come prepared. I wish I did. You know, I just came to see you. I just have $200. Out of the money that I spent at the club yesterday, just keep that. That's give or take fifty thousand or more. I'll, I'll come back and do more. Oh my God, Ben! All this. Come ben, on, baby. thank you so much. Babe, don't cry. Thank come you on, so you're making much. me feel bad. Don't cry. Thank you. Come on, this baby, don't too... cry. I got you. Don't worry about it. I got you. All right. So just keep that. I'll come back and do more. Huh? You're my baby. Come on. I'm... I'm the friend of money. I'm back now. I'll take care of you, okay? Ben, thank you. God bless you. Oh my God. Baby. Do you think this man will be willing to help? He gave me 50,000 naira. And he promised to do more. Yes, but baby, I think we need to go to the hospital tomorrow for the test. And there are, I have some money I was able to save. We we'll add up and go to the hospital. I think it's going to be enough. Ah. He gave you 50,000 naira just like that? Yes. <laughs> Without demanding anything from you? No. Or baby. asking for any other favor? No. In Nigerian man. <laughs> ah, thank God. Mm. I'm so happy. <sighs> oh, sorry, sorry. Baby, it's... <coughs> sorry. Oh, sorry. Mm. Who be that? Who will be? One break, my door. Who are you looking for? Your ogre. Why? What do you want to see him for? Um, it is very important. Tell him it has to do with Stephanie and the husband. No, wait, let me come. Boss. There is a man out there that wants to see you. What is the one? Who is he? I said the reason is so important. It has something to do with um, Stephanie and the husband. I wonder what I'll do with that kind of information. Tell him to come. Okay, boss. Be careful, though. I am an ah. Ah, Let's go. What is your name? What do you want here? My name is uh, Ichie Eziani. Stephanie's husband is my brother. So? 
I saw you giving his wife money the other day. You will stop giving them money. Because what is troubling them is spiritual, not physical. What do you mean? Hold on. Um, wait outside. He has no business here in the city. He's supposed to be in the village serving the gods. So why are you telling me all this? Because I like you. I don't want you to get into a problem. Stop giving them money. Hmm. Okay. I've heard. You can go now. Hey, Chema, um, won't you give me something, at least something I can use for transportation? Huh? Uh. Hey, this is money. Mr. Val, from the test results, you've been diagnosed with prostate cancer. Prostate cancer? Cancer! Mm. Eh? We need to commence treatment immediately so that it doesn't spread through the rest of your body. Cancer? So, um, but cancer is a dangerous disease. Nobody survives it. So I am dead already. Mm. No, you're not. You'll be fine. You will survive it as long as we start treatment immediately. There are various options. We can do a radical prostatectomy to remove your prostate glands and tissues. We can also do a laparoscopy surgery. Better still, you can also go for radiation therapy or hormone therapy. Whichever of those four, you'll be fine. Huh? All this is that you have mentioned will cost a lot of money now. How am I going to get this kind of money? I told you that these people are bent on finishing me. They want to wipe away my lineage. Stop it. No! Nobody, nobody's after you. Please, doctor. It's fine. You understand? We'll just look for money and commence the uh, treatment. It's okay. It's important to keep off the okay? yeah. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You have to leave. Stanley! Stan! Please, come and see who is at the door. Someone is knocking? Yes. Oh, okay. Come in. Yeah, welcome. Thank you. Brother. How are you going? My brother was just fine. Uh, see. Thank you. Uh, how are you? I'm doing well, well. How are you? I came to see how you're doing. My brother, it's not easy. We went to the hospital today to get a medication because of this leg that is uh, giving me so much excruciating pain. My brother, the doctor gave me another shock. The doctor said that I have prostate cancer. Prostate cancer? Yes. Boy just started and we're actually looking for money so we could commence treatment before it spreads around the body. Okay then, so let's let's start right away. There's no time to waste. Ben, didn't you hear me when I said we're looking for money? How much are we talking about? <sighs> we're looking for something no less than one million naira. I really wish I can help. You know me, I would have given you the money. I just have pockets of investments here and there and my money is all tied up. You know? uh, my brother, I, I understand. I know I understand how it is. I mean, 
Nobody has money anywhere like that. Um, you have also tried your own little bit. The other time, you gave her 50,000 naira. And that 50,000 naira that you gave her went far. We bought drugs and uh, some for tests and all that. We appreciate it. We appreciate it. Okay. Well, if anything, I make some money on the night. You never know. If something comes and I'll make sure you guys I'll come and see you guys. So. I appreciate it. I understand. I really must run. I have a meeting. Waiting for me. You just came to see how you do it. Oh, thank you, my brother. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Um, baby, can you just see me home? Then you promise to help me. Why all these excuses now? Hey, one million is not a lot of money. You don't have money. I have much more than my third generation needs. But this world is not built like that. If you want my help, you need to help me too with something. I have one condition and I'll give you the money. What condition? I want you to spend the night with me. Are you out of your senses? Do you know a married woman? If this is not a marriage, you're living with a cripple that can't provide for you. No, no, let's call it the way it is. What last did he make love to you properly? What last did he give you money, take you on a shopping spree, take ben. you outside? It's true. Divorce him, come and live with me. I'm a man. Total. And I'll take care of you, give you the loving you need. Ben. Night in, day out. It's about money and I have excess. Then listen to me. I'm in love with my husband. The only thing I want from you is just your assistance so he can get his treatment. That's all I want from you. Please. Baby, you need to pull your head out of the cloud and smell the coffee. It's not love you need. Money is the solution you need. And I have money. And who you need is a friend of money. You know where to find me when you're ready. Ben. 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 Well, I love you. I promise you. I'm never going to do that. I promise you, please. Baby, I won't disappoint you. Baby. you so much. Val. Val, I love you. I'm never going to disappoint you. Val. How much was it? 200. 200. Mm -hmm. Christy. Hey! Why are you saying like this? Yes, so it's me you're seeing. 
This is when you came to see me today. That means I will sell well. Isn't you? You forgot someone and you don't call me anymore. I don't know why. Ah, Reggie, I'm so sorry. You know I've been so busy. Eh? Uh -huh. So you're so busy that I couldn't even call your friend, Christy. I'm sorry. Mm. My bad. Wow. So, tell me, how is your family? Ah, Christy, you won't understand. My husband has been sick. The doctor said my husband has prostate cancer. Prostate cancer? Huh? Well, your husband is a young man now. That sickness is for old people. Yes. But I heard it happens to young men too. Hey! Oh, so sorry. I hope you have started treatment. Christy, we're actually looking for money for his treatment. Hey, Christy, that's why I came to see you. Please, I need you to lend me some money, please. You know you are my friend. I understand, but the problem now is that I use the last money I have on me to stop my shop. Okay? Yeah? But don't worry. Just give me some time. I will raise money for you. I promise. Hmm? Please come and sit down. Thank you. Give you some no, don't worry. I'm actually in a hurry. I need to go to the market. Thank you so much. Eh? Please take it easy, okay? Don't worry. You'll be fine. Hmm? Once I raise something, I'll call you. Okay? Thank Stay you. Please, easy, okay? Coming. Ah. Luchia. Good afternoon. Please have a seat. Please sit. Ichi, this one you came today. Hope no problem. I want you to convince your husband to return back to the village and resume his duty as a chief priest. Ichi, I'm sorry, he can't. Oh, so even at this condition, you are still being stubborn? Ichi, please. What is wrong with my husband has nothing to do with whatever you're saying that he's from the village. It's just a medical condition. No. <laughs> Stop fooling yourself. Doctors are deceiving you. They have no cure. The only cure is for your husband to go back to the village and answer his call. That's all. What's call? Well, I think I have done my part. I should be leaving. Christy, I'm not fine. My husband's condition is giving me great concern. I don't know. I've been able to raise some money. I'll pay it in before the end of the day. Oh my God. Christy. Oh God. May God bless you for me, my friend. I really appreciate it. God bless you. Oh, come on. What are friends for? Thank you. Take it easy, okay? Oh, thank you, God. Thank you. Oh. Oh. 
I'll add this 100,000 to the 200 in my account and send to Stephanie so that they can at least start the treatment. Hello? Yes. Really? Uh. Uh. Hmm. Are you sure about this? Okay. So, how much is it? Wow. <laughs> mm -hmm. This sounds good. Um, you know what? Let me pay the money next week. Today is the deadline. Hi. No, 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 no. I'm interested. I'm interested. Oh, okay. Do you know what? I will... I'll, I'll pay the money. Yes, I will. All right. Thank you so much, yeah. Thank you. I'll get back to you now. Thank you. Hey! What kind of temptation is this now? Now that I want to send this money to Steph. Now this offer. Hmm. I can't miss this for anything. Eh? Steph will have to wait. Do I tell her no? She has to wait. This one, this offer does not come all the time. I can't, I can't jeopardize this now. Oh God! God, why is all this happening to me? Christy said she will send me the money today. Look at the time. God, and she hasn't sent the money. Oh, Christy, why would she do this to me? Oh, God. <laughs> I can't let my husband die, never. I can't let my own husband die. I have to do something about it. Oh, God, please help me. Please, I want to sell my house urgently. I need money. Okay, madam. Um, where's the house? Um, it's not far from here. Um, that's not the problem. Um, I have clients that will be willing to pay for the house, <sighs> but I can't really do anything except I see the house. Okay, no problem. Can you take me there? Yes, please. All right, fine. Hmm. Madam, I've seen the exterior and the interior of the house. I really mm. like it, but can I see some other parts of the house? Madam? I would like to see some other part of the house. Yes, you're right, Sam. But you see, my husband is sleeping upstairs. I'm sorry. I guess you have to come some other time. But I'm happy you like the house. Well, okay. As you said, I'll come back some other time because your house is really beautiful. <laughs> Thank you I so like much. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> What is it? Hmm? What is it? What are you hiding? Hmm? Nothing. You hiding nothing? Nothing, yes. Okay, can I see the nothing that you're hiding? I say, can I see what you're hiding behind you? Huh. Give me now. It's not a yes, I agree. Let me see. 
Can I see? I just want you to understand that this is for your own good. Please. My God, you're making me more confused. What is for my own good? Okay, can I see? What is for my own good? I said, can I see? What? Stephanie. Huh? Our house document. No. You want to sell this house? No, no, it's not what you think. You see, baby, I, I just want us to sell this house and get a smaller one. Then we can raise money for your treatment and other things that we need. I can see that the village people have gotten you. Trey! No. Stephanie! Don't listen to me. Your life is more important than this house. I just want to save you. It's, I don't want you to die. Don't you understand? You want us to be homeless? Hey! Hey! What? You... Uh, you want us to be homeless? Baby, we can't be homeless, please. You! I just want you to listen to this me. This is what they have always wanted, but I will not let it. <laughs> no, please. Let me be. Please. No, it's, it, it's for your own good. I don't want you to die. Our house! I don't know why you're stubborn. I don't know why you're stubborn. I don't know. I tried all I can to raise money to know Avel. Christy keeps posting me. She has stopped picking my calls and, and now she's avoiding me. What do I do now? What if the cancer sp spread to the other side of his body? No. No, I can't afford to be a widow at my young age. I love my husband and I won't let him die. No, no, I can't let my husband die. Good morning, sunshine. <laughs> Good morning. Hope you slept well. Yeah, I did. I wouldn't have asked for any better sleep after what you did to me last night. <laughs> and you were trying to prove a point. <laughs> you know, yeah, I was trying to prove that I'm still that man that you married years ago. <laughs> yes. But you know, you still need your treatments, okay? Anyways, good news. A friend of mine said she's gonna help me. So I'm going to see her later in the day. She got die. I quite appreciate your support. It's fine. Mm. I know if you wear my shoes, you have done the same. Mm -hmm. I love you so much. Love you too, honey. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> Stop! <laughs> I'm fine. Believe me, you need a strong drink for this one. <sighs> Did you find it difficult finding my place? Ben. Why are you doing this? Because I love you. And I 
I've always wanted you. Then you know I'm married. There are a lot of beautiful girls out there that will be so glad to have you. Why me? The heart wants what it wants. I can't change it. Besides, they said forbidden food is sweet. Ben, please, I beg you, for all time's sake, please. I didn't force you. I gave you my conditions. It was clear cut. You accepted it and came here on your own accord. <sighs> How much are you paying me? Five hundred thousand. Ben, please. We need one million naira. Please, I, I don't want my husband treats men to go halfway. Please, Ben. One million. That's a little steep even for you. I mean, is that the made of gold? Ben! Ben, please. Ben, I know you have it. Ben, please, I beg you in the name of God. Please, Ben, help me. you to do a transfer right now. What's the rush? You don't trust me? No, I don't. Please do the transfer and let's get this and done with. I was actually midway the process already before you got here. Question of completing it. All right, then. It's done. Where is your bedroom? My dear, I am not a bedroom man. I'll start with the couch here, and then from there, we're going to go to the kitchen. Then, we'll go to the bathroom. By the time we get to the bedroom, baby, I definitely would have gotten half my money's worth. Maybe this is not a good time to cry, my dear. Ben, please. Ben, please. Ben, please. 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 Say that. The more you cry. Baby. I know you enjoyed it as much as I did. So why are you crying? Of me, Ben. You are wicked. Listen, I don't want to see you anywhere around my life. Stay away from me. Do you understand? Crystal, I'm so late for that. I'm addicted to you already. Ben, if I 
see you anywhere around me. I swear to God Almighty, I promise you. I'll kill you personally. It's a promise. It's too late, babe. It's too late. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh, that was my hell of a night. <clears throat> Silly baby. I'm addicted already. Wow. Super I missed. Wow. <laughs> Just a night seems like a whole day to it. Welcome there. Mm. How did it go? <sighs> My friend was able to borrow me some money. Wow, that's great. Good news. Um, but baby, I want you to commence treatment. <laughs> mm. Baby. You see why I love you? Mm? I love you so passionately that I cannot do without you. You have been so wonderful to me. Thank you. All I have belongs to you. All I have is you. That I'm alive today just because of your love. Mm? Mm. Mm, baby. I I need to freshen up. I understand. Let's go. <laughs> wow. <laughs> nice to have you back. <laughs> Mr. Val, do you have kids? Oh, uh, not yet. We are hoping very soon. Well, prostate cancer doesn't stop fertility. However, the treatment does. I would advise you get your wife pregnant before we commence treatment. Uh, doctor, uh, are you seriously telling me that if I commence treatment, mm -hmm. I will not be able to get my wife pregnant? Is that what you're saying? Okay, unless you bank your sperm, that would work. But ordinarily, you won't be able to get your wife pregnant. But it's not totally impossible. You're still young. There are some fertility drugs you can take to boost your fertility level. It will just take a while, but you eventually will. Val, please. You still need to commence treatment. Let's say we can worry about having kids. What is all this? Look, they have also gotten you. I am telling you, what has befallen us is not natural, but spiritual. These people want to wipe away my lineage. Val, stop bringing in superstitious belief here. There is no spiritual problem to all this. But I've told you, before I commence that shipment, I must get you pregnant. That is final. Hey, Stephanie, why are you avoiding me? Ben, how many times have I told you to stay away from me? Don't you understand? <laughs> what are you getting upset for? You know why are your emotions always running high when you see me? Are you beginning to catch feelings? Huh? You begin to fall in love? I did it to you the way your husband has never done it to you. How dare you? Are you mad? Listen to me, my husband is no match for you, okay? Stay away from me, Ben! You slap me, yeah? Alright. Alright. You just started it. You just started it. I hope you didn't come to my house to convince me to go to the village to serve your gods. Because I will not do that. 
Nah. Do you want your entire lineage to wipe out? Look at you. You have been married for years, but no child. That is to say that the gods are punishing you. Will you ever stop? Will you ever stop you and this your god? Listen, go and tell your gods and the people that sent you that I am not interested and I will never serve your gods. Wake up and smell the corpse in the coffin before it is too late. It is your own corpse that is in the coffin that you will smell. Please, get out of my house. Hmm? I said, get out of my house. It has not gotten to that. It has passed it. And don't ever come back to my house because the next time you come here, I will get you arrested. I'm, Rubbish. I'm going. Can you come here and tell me that I, because of uh, stupid God, that, I have not, that my wife has not conceived? You are now what? Doctor. Why is this man very stubborn? I have tried my best for him. To save him and his family from doom. But it seems he doesn't want it. I have been in the city for too long because of him. I think I should go back to the village. Chie Ezani was here today. He was just ranting and ranting about my inability to have my own children because I refuse to serve the gods. That man is just funny. He's just trying to convince you to become the chief priest. They are using every format, all kinds of tactics to bring me down, but I will not let them. Hope you didn't tell them I'm pregnant. Am I crazy? Maybe I'm so happy that everything is going to be fine after your surgery. I can't wait. I'm so happy that you support me all the way. <laughs> Please, let's go back to sleep, okay? It's gonna be fine. The good news is that my wife is now pregnant, so Great. we cannot commence the treatment. Well, very wonderful news. I'm happy to hear that. We can commence treatment immediately. I advise we go for radiation therapy. How long is that going to take? It won't take a while. It's just for about 10 to 15 minutes daily, Monday to Friday for eight weeks. Doctor, thank you so much for everything. I really you're appreciate it. You're welcome, You're welcome. I'm glad you're happy. I'll send your file to the therapy room so that the therapist can commence treatment. Thank you. Oh, thank you so <laughs> much. Okay. Stop it. Thank you. I can't thank you enough for being by my side during my trying period. 
You have been an amazing wife and I love you dearly. I'm sorry. I betrayed you. I slept with Ben. Without you are responsible for my pregnancy. Because we have been married for years and I never got pregnant. Until I slept with Ben. <sighs> Hello, Lord. Are you okay? <sighs> hey. You're crying. What is it? <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. It's just tears of joy to see that my husband is, is strong and well again. I love you. I will always love you <laughs> forever, till eternity, till death do us part. Mm. Thank you. Let me just go and get you your breakfast. Mm. Okay? I don't want my love to be hungry. Hey, should I listen? I don't need food. You are all the food. You that need I food. Want. No, no, you need food. Uh, have you started the antenatal? Not yet. This is the fourth month. We ought to have started by now. You know, my husband's treatment, we spent a lot of money, and I don't want to do irrelevant spending. That's why. I understand, but I'm just saying this for the sake of the baby and you, for your welfare. I know. Can I start my system out? It's not bad. But I need you to start now. Please. I will. How is Val anyway? He's fine. He's sleeping in his room. Stand my curtains, okay? Thank you so much. I will. Care of yourself, thank okay? you. Really trying, <laughs> all right. Gotta go. Okay? Please, safe, okay. Um, please don't forget, I'm coming to the hospital next week, okay, for my Atlanta. Please, oh. hope to see you. Stephanie. Oh, okay, okay. Wait, how many times have I told you to stay away from me? You were pregnant all this time, pregnant with my baby. Eh? How long do you think you hide this? What's your problem? You're carrying my baby and you want to give my baby to another man. Huh? Who does that? You think that is going to happen? I'll fight you and fight your husband to the end. That baby is just a dreamer, Ben. You just a dreamer. This child belongs to my husband. This is not your child, okay? Fine, prove it. Take a DNA. Take a DNA. Let me know whose child that is. If you don't take this DNA, your husband what we were doing that night. Who were you doing? How I was wrecking you in and out that night. How you were mourning on my bed. Ben, go you. to hell! Oh, I hate yeah. you! I want my baby! I hate you! Go and do the DNA. Do the DNA. The baby is not immaculate conception. I did it and I put that baby there. Okay, your husband's gonna know how you mourned all night. Okay, go get the DNA first thing tomorrow. Ben, I know! Ben, I know! I know! What are you gonna do about it? What are you going to do about it? Yeah. What are you going to do about it? Huh? DNA! 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 Why are you dragging me to? But I need your help. Please. What's the I problem? How is your husband? What's going on? He's fine. He's fine. I don't, I don't know how to say this. 
but I really do need your help. Are you okay? Uh, Is there any problem? Tell me. Come on, you can talk. But I, I, I slept with someone because I needed money to treat my husband. And now the person wants to lay claim to my pregnancy. Does your husband know about this? Now you know it's not possible. I can't bring myself to tell him such. And now he's threatening that he wants a DNA to prove the paternity of the child. What are you going to do? Abbott, please. I want you to help me with the DNA test. I want you to follow me to his house so he can take samples for the DNA test, please. I beg you, you okay? please, I will. Adam, please. I, don't have to kneel I need down. you to help me, I will please. Do it. I will do it. Are you serious? Yes. Adam, God bless you for me. Thank you so much. Thank you. Stop Thank crying. you. Thank Stop you. Stop it. Stop it. I'm not going to see you. Thank you. Yes. So, my dear, the results will be out in one week. This test thing is useless to me because I'm hundred percent sure that this pregnancy belongs to my husband. Yes, sir. I'm hundred percent sure that pregnancy is mine. One week is not far. You know whose baby it is. No problem. <sighs> I will be Come on now. You're in the house of the friend of money. You can't come to my house and leave just like that. Let me get my housekeeper to bring you something to drink, huh? Just kidding. Um, who is at home? Please, let's go. Rubbish. Okay. Okay. We could do less with the attitude, ladies. Less with the attitude. Hmm? Does that that leave? Why? Let's just say I don't trust her. And what does trusting her have to do with what we're talking about? Not like she's even owing you. If you don't tell me where to find her, I'll tell your husband what we've been doing. She lives with her daughter. Number 28, Body Street. <sighs> that wasn't so hard, was it? And her husband? She's a single mom. Okay. Ben, is that why you called me here? Well, not exactly. But now that you've mentioned it, I was also thinking what it could look like. If you and I come get down on this couch. Get off me! You stink! <laughs> uh, you weren't thinking that some time ago. Oh. <sighs> Hello. Who is this? For what? How could he just get up and ask me to come to his place? Is this guy crazy or something? Just 
just call me out of the blues, expect me rushing down to your house. Just like that. What do you want? You know, the way Stephanie has been talking all this time, I'm beginning to get the feeling that child might not be mine. How is that my business? It's your business. I need you to alter the result so that baby will be mine. In return, I'll change your life for good. So you called me out of my house just to come and talk me into changing the DNA result? You must be crazy. No, I'm not. Something is definitely wrong with your head. I'll tell you what is not wrong. I have a friend. My friend can do virtually everything. I send my friend to buy a human being, he buys a car, house, anything I ask my friend to do, my friend does it. My friend is the most powerful friend in the whole world, but guess what? This friend of mine works for me. You know who my friend is? Money. I have money in excess. I am the friend of money. Name your price and I'll change your life. So why do you look hungry to you? Look at myself very well. So I look so hungry. Take a look at me. How much do you want? I don't want your stupid money. Do I look like you can buy me? Silly. All right, lady. Remember, I made an offer. Benita, how long was this girl be? How was this one now? Hello? You bastard. You bastard. What have you done to my daughter? Don't you lay your filthy hands on my daughter. I'm warning you. Anyway, I'm calling the police right now. You can't do it. You cannot do it. Don't you? Hello? Where is my daughter? Bring her. Not out of this. Oh, I call the police on you. You call the police? Yes. If you call the police, I'll kill your daughter. And I'll make it look like an accident. There's nothing you do about it. It's about money. I warned you. Please. I warned you. Please. 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 I'm very sorry. I would do anything you want me to do, please. Just let my daughter go, please. I pick you with the name of God. Please. All you have to do is do what I ask you to do. And I will turn your daughter to you safely. You play games with me one more time, your daughter will die. Listen to me. If you play games with me, you understand what the devil's incarnate means. Please. Are you sure you don't want to go inside? I'm fine. Ada is almost here. Shut yourself. Hello. ADA. Looking mighty fine today. Thank you. Here's the test result. Um, so whose baby is it? How am I supposed to know? It's supposed to be confidential. All right, well, why don't you let her... Mm -hmm. no, let her have it. Go to!
comforting voice. Are you okay? Is it? What is it? You just got off the phone and I don't understand. What is going on? Are you okay? You're crying. What is it? Um, hey, talk to your baby. What is it? Well, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Hey, talk to me. What is it? Ah, <laughs> God. <laughs> what is it? Talk to me. No, Dad. I'm pregnant and it forced me to have her DNA. And the result is out. <laughs> and it shows that. <laughs> then he's the biological father of my child! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, baby, I love you. Please forgive me. <laughs> Mom, please forgive me. God knows I did it for you. I did it for us. I did it because I love you. <laughs> me. Please forgive me. I did it. You mean they? They be happy looking for you. Why not? Tom is not mine. <laughs> Forgive me. I never meant to hurt you. Please. Please, I'm begging you, forgive me. I knew it. I have always told you that this sickness wasn't a normal sickness. It was a spiritual thing sent from the village. These people, they want to wipe away my lineage. No, baby. Baby, please. You know I can still have kids for you. Please. You can still have kids for me. How? Through spiritual uh, conception? How? Were you not there? Did you hear the doctor? The doctor said that the medication affects fertility. That the man cannot be able to impregnate a woman and have a child. No. That was what she said. No, she said it's not impossible. She said with the right treatment you can still get me pregnant. How? Don't paint the words to make me feel better. I heard and I know what the doctor said. The doctor said that it is almost impossible and slim for one undertaking the treatment to pregnant a woman and have a child. That was what she said. I heard her clearly. <laughs> <laughs> They want to wipe away my lineage and they have gotten me at last. Hey, hey, hey. Have you told him? Told him what? The gods have chosen you to succeed the chief priest. Please go and tell the gods that I am not interested. Val, you don't have a choice though. Whether you like it or not, you are the chosen one. I've told you. I have chosen to disobey the gods. 
I will not serve the gods. I have businesses that I'm taking care of. You don't expect me to leave my businesses in town to come to the village to serve your gods. Hmm. I see tears. I see sorrows, pains and doom. If you don't succeed, the chief priest. I have decided not to succeed, the chief priest. Go and tell the elders that sent you that I have refused to serve the gods. Simple. Excuse me. Val! Val, come back here! What is wrong with this boy? The stubborn flies follows the corpse to the grave. I see doom. Doom. Val! Val, come back here! They have succeeded in destroying my life. Hmm. I knew it right from the onset that it was a spiritual thing. It was not normal. That was why I refused going to the hospital with you. But you kept pushing me. I'm finished. These people have finally gotten me. How come you are still holding on to my daughter? I've done pretty much everything you wanted me to do. I don't think you listen to me properly. I said the only condition to release your daughter is to bring in Stephen into my home from my husband's house. How could you say a thing like that? Listen, your daughter is in good hands. You worry too much. She eats what she wants to eat. She's in the mansion. Stop worrying. Do what you and I agreed. And all this will be over in no time. Your daughter will rule me. Haven't you done enough? First you slept with the married woman. You claim the pregnancy that is yours. And you know that she's not yours. Her marriage is on the verge of collapsing. What more do you want from her? What do you want her to do? Can't you just leave her alone? Never. It will never happen. Not even when I'm dead or alive. Before I went to the States, I had an understanding with that girl. She agreed to wait for me. And as soon as I was off, she ran into another man's home. Into another man's hand. It will not end. It never will end until I collapse that marriage and she finds a way to where she rightfully belongs, which is my house. Anyways, let's don't always, you know, all these things are bad vibes. Huh? Let's do something on a positive note once in a while. I have some money for you. Now consider it a little token of appreciation for doing so well today. You understand? Go shopping, relax, you know, be happy. They call me the friend of money for a good reason. I take care of all your needs anytime. Just stay loyal. You better take my goddamn money. Refusing my money has its own repercussions. My friend, take this money and stop acting up. See the paper I'm giving you. It's money. You know it, and I know it that you need it. It's a lot more where that came from. Just stay low. Mm -hmm. Now go do what you and I agreed. Was I wrong to have collected money from him? I really need this money for some things. And besides, he has my daughter. He will kill her if I don't cooperate. Hope Stephanie and Val forgives me someday. Here's your food. I don't want to eat. I want to be out of here. Nobody is tying you here now. You will only leave when your mother must have done what Awoga said that she should do. You understand? So there is no problem. This is kidnap. 
They are holding me against my wish and it's punishable by law. See, you are just joking. Huh? You are beating around the bush. Eat your food and get, uh, gather strength. And you are here telling me about law. Do you know law? <laughs> Better eat this food. Because if I go outside and come in, you don't eat the food. Huh? What I will do to you? You will not like it. You go take me to my mom. <laughs> take you to your mom. How is she doing? Boss, that girl is too stubborn. Mm -hmm. Now she has refused to eat. And she's also saying she wants to go. Of course she wants to go. Well, it's up to her mom. If her mom lives up to her billing, she'll go home. If not, fuck it. <clears throat> the issue there is that I don't know how long she's willing to stay without eating. Because she might die of starvation. If she wants to die, let her die now. We'll bury her up in the backyard. What is it? Why are we talking about this in like the case? Mom will do her part. We'll do our part to let her go. Listen, I have somewhere I have to be. You guys bring the car up front. I just want to go change. I'll meet you up there. Sure, sure. Okay, boss. Are you mad? Are you mad? Are you mad? Will you pick her up and tell her to Are you a man? See these people. You again. These people. You again. Yes, hey, yes, let's have it. What are you doing here? So that's oh. He had me outside the DNA results. The baby is not yours. It's his. He had my daughter and threatened to kill her. If I don't answer the test results. Okay. I'm so sorry I did. Mm. I got out of it. Okay. But now you will go to prison. Me. Prison. Prison for poor people. I'm Dictative Roger Williams from State CID. You are under arrest for kidnapping. Nothing Officer! Only poor people go to prison. Let him! Nothing will happen. Nothing will happen. You know what I did to you? Did you ask your wife? How I put this in the city somehow? Huh? Move, move, move. Sir, move. Move. Take your results. Thank you so much. God bless you for me. You guys take it easy, okay? I have to get going too. Okay, take it in the bag. <laughs> 